united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSCE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, United with Christ. Hello, everybody, and welcome to United with Christ. My name is Sean Franklin. I attend Paseo Church and also work here at KSCE Christian Television in web and social media. With me today are my good friends, Isaac Alcala from Dios Es Bueno. Isaac, you want to say hi? Hello, guys. My name is Isaac Alcala. I'm from Dios Es Bueno. I'm the evangelism uh, director from that church. Uh, there's so many calls that, that God has uh, bring us to, and I'm excited to actually be here. I actually want to say hi to my little Judah. Something that I had to say. So, um, God bless you guys, and, and I hope you guys enjoy what we're about to share with you guys. And also, I have Jeremiah Navarro here from Word of Life. How are you guys doing? My name is Jeremiah Navarro. I'm from Word of Life Church, like Sean said. Um, I am a youth leader at our church, and growing in uh, my roles, my different roles there at church, uh, trying to figure it out. But for right now, I'm the youth leader, one of the youth leaders, I should say. And thank you. For having me. Yeah, no problem. And we'd also like to encourage you to call into the station um, at 915-532-8518. Uh, we're going to be talking about our identity in Christ today. And as a byproduct of that, we believe in healing. So if you need prayer for healing, call in. Uh, we'd love to pray and believe with you mm -hmm. for that. Um, KSCE Christian Television exists only because of viewer support like you guys. And so we just want to encourage you that it's a great place to support financially, invest into the kingdom of God. Um, so pray about it. Consider calling in and giving. The number again is 532-8518. Uh, we're going to be sharing today about an upcoming conference. It's like a life-changing, amazing conference. And so if you have any questions about that, feel free to call in. Again, that number should be on your screen. It's 532-8518. So with that out of the way, um, Isaac and Jeremiah... We all come from different churches, but we're actually here today to talk about this amazing conference called Power and Love that we're all going to be attending um, August 2nd through the 5th. And so it's a three and a half day conference. It begins on a Wednesday night, August 2nd at 7 p.m., and it goes until Saturday on August the 5th. And the main speakers that we're really excited about um, are Todd White of Lifestyle Christianity He's in a few documentaries you may have seen on Netflix, um, Father of Lights, Holy Ghost. And so he's going to be there. Um, Tom Rotolo is going to be speaking from Lifestyle Christianity. And also Chris Gore from Bethel Church. And he has an amazing healing ministry that he helps with at Bethel. And so we're really excited about that. Um, Wednesday, it starts at 7. And then Thursday through Saturday, there's three sessions a day. One at 9 in the morning, two in the afternoon, and, and one at 7. And so it does require registration, and actually early registration ends July 5th. And you can register online at powerandlove.org, and if you want the specific link, it's powerandlove.org slash EP2017. Um, right now is the best time to register because early registration ends July 5th. Um, it's only $40 for the entire three-and-a-half-day school. They gave us a discounted rate, so we're excited about that. And what's cool about this conference, guys, is that after every session, you have the opportunity to head out with fellow believers. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't feel confident in your ability to share the gospel or even, you know, even approach anybody for anything. Maybe you're really shy like I was uh, before I went to these conferences. But you get paired up with somebody that's more confident, and you get to put into practice everything you've been learning in the sessions. So if you're at a morning session, you just learned about you know, praying with people or praying for the sick, then immediately after that, you can go out for lunch, pair up with somebody, and put it into practice. And so it's really not just um, head knowledge, not just information, but you're actually becoming a disciple of Christ. You're actually putting it into practice. And so it's more of a see and then do rather than just learning and information. And it's really an amazing time. So we encourage you to register today um, and save your seat for the 2017 El Paso School of Power and Love. So, um, Isaac, do you have any thoughts on the school? 
Yes, Sean, I, I have a, a lot of thoughts. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but um, one of the reasons why, why I came back um, from my big backsliding, you could say, I, I lasted like almost 10 years without going to church. Mm. And one of the things that really helped me out is that I Google miracles and wonders in YouTube. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm not lying about that. Uh, right before the passing of my grandma, um, she would always tell me things about God. And, and I would go to her house and I would only find her place to be church. Because I, well, I couldn't find a community where I could belong to. And when I Google that, um, I saw a video of Todd White. For the first time, and this happened like six years ago. A video of Todd White. I saw this dude with crazy style. I saw him without a tie. I saw him without a, um, I don't know. I, I, the way I saw him, Sean, Jeremiah, it, it was, um, this guy's not normal. Where is, where is he from? Um, I was just, I was really shocked. And then I saw this video where he was um, healing, for, um, he was praying for people. And he was outside a bar, and he was uh, praying for the wrist. When I saw that, something in me ignited. I, I really said this. I, I want what this guy has. I, I want what, what he has. Um, I'm sharing that because I even I got online after so many years, and I wrote to, to Lifestyle and Christianity, and I believe Tom Rutola replied back and, and he said, oh, it's blessings, blessings that it's awesome that, that you got touched by the testimony of Todd. And, and I did. So I, and, and I'm sharing this because I know that the people that are, that are seeing this video, um, not everyone knows my background, Sean. Not everyone knows my background, Jeremiah. They, they're, they're probably like, nah, they're probably just supporting another event and it's right. just... Uh, uh, overrated evangelism event. Everyone's mm. doing it. That's good. And um, but no, that's really part of, of where I'm coming from. So I'm really, really, really excited. I mean, to to also meet Todd White because <laughs> he's gonna be here in El Paso. But I actually got to attend already to one of them, and it was when Robbie Dawkins and Bob Haslett were were here in, in El Paso. And I, so many things happened to me during that conference. So many things really happened to me. I was working. Uh, in a bank during that time and um, I had to pay attention to everything I was doing obviously because I worked with a lot of numbers but I started having visions when I started working um, when I started going to the conference I started having visions about about my boss during the workplace uh, and and I say visions because I literally saw pictures while I was working and and it all happened because um, I believe Bob Bob Haslett was saying some stuff um, where you would actually become one with God. And I just didn't understand that. But something happened to me while I was sitting down at church. And I went to work and I actually had to share this vision with my boss. And it was it was so crazy because I couldn't believe that the things that were in the Bible were coming true and they were coming out of life. So I mean it was it was just I'm very happy. I'm very happy to be part of, of, of this event. I'm very happy to actually be in my second school of power and love. So I really want to encourage you guys. It it really changed my life. Mm -hmm. From behind the scenes when no one knew what was happening in my life, this school changed my life. And, and Todd White, actually, his testimony changed my life as well. And, and um, I give him credit for that. And I know that God gets all glory, but there was a man out there that was not normal like mm -hmm. any other person. So that inspired me to to go back to church. And not only that, I'll step it up a little bit further. That is the reason why I started evangelizing. Mm -hmm. I A lot of people talk about revival. A lot of people talk about awakening. A lot of people talk about all of these things. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest, some, some people don't do anything about it. <laughs> so when I saw this guy coming out, I I could really um, relate to him. I could really identify myself with him, his lifestyle, the way I was growing up. There was a lot of things in common. But I but I, I it's crazy, guys, because I mean I started the whole evangelism department in my church because of this. Mm. So 
um, I want to encourage you guys. You guys, um, register, register. I know um, there's a registration fee, but take the time. And it, it's an investment, an eternal investment in your life. I know that you guys are not going to regret it. And and it, it's just awesome, Sean. I, I, I already want it to be August, so. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Well, right now we're going to go to a video, and you're going to see in detail the ministry of Todd and uh, the School of Power and Love. So enjoy the video, and then when we come back, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Did Jesus like, I, 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 like, like, I couldn't wait. Like, right here. Jesus! Tell him to close it again. Pray again. Close it again. Check it again. You should be able to see completely. Close your eye again. I'm going to pray for you. Close it. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus, God, right now. I be completely healed. Back up again so you can show me your fingers. started out at some point and everybody prayed for that first person don't compare yourself to anybody be excited that Jesus wants to live in you and wants to flow through you and be excited that you're on the earth and there was a time to be born and your days here we just got to be willing to surrender and start believing and believe it's possible we live a whole life being taught by unbelief If you're nervous, it's probably okay. Don't wait till you get the spirit of boldness and pray that this thing that you see on Todd comes upon you. And when it does, you'll pray. Just go pray. Listen, just lay your hands on the sick. Be sincere and believe he loves them through his son. And it's amazing what can happen if we all just start doing that. It's about having a genuine love and the Spirit of God in you that brings change to situations and people and lives. It's never about you being somebody in and of yourself. It's about Him being somebody in you. He wants to multiply Himself after His own kind and reproduce His image through believers. He loves us. And it's His goodness that leads men to change. You'd be amazed how many people have a heart cry toward God, and you might be amazed how God wants you to be a part of the answer to that heart cry. Where He doesn't just come and visit them all the time on His own, He wants to visit them through you. Look, you can go to church, you can have a ministry, you can be a Christian and be self-seeking. My point is you can't be productive if your motive's not pure. The pure in heart shall see God. You're not here to build a kingdom. You're here to minister one that already came. You put the old man down in his deeds and you put on the new man. He's renewed in knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. I'm firstborn among many. The things I do, you'll do if you believe. As the Father sent me, so I'm going to send you. He forgave you of everything you've ever done so he could live inside of you. 
He's redeeming something. He's restoring something. I asked the security guy, like, if he had any kind of trouble with his back or anything like that. And he said, no, I'm good. He kind of pushed me away. But Lynn came out and Lynn said, hey, do you have any trouble with, like, one of your shoulders? How do you know my, my shoulders hurt? Because Jesus loves you. He loves you. Is it this one or both of them? It's actually both. I just had her into this one the other day. That's crazy. No way. I had a surgery on this one. Here, let me pay for them. Lynn got his heart soft. It was pretty cool. This is how we all work together, you know, because some sow some water, God brings the increase. Shoulders be healed in Jesus' name. Brand new. New rotator cuff in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's crazy how I'm... Check it right oh. now. Tell me how it feels. I don't, don't want to do that right now. <laughs> you got to do it. I start crying or something. No, okay. You know why? Because like, because we're raised our whole life to wonder like who God is, and then we see religion around us and we don't want it. And then when Jesus really shows up and touches you, it confronts your whole life. It confronts what you thought was not real, and it makes it real. Do me a favor yeah. though, and just swing your shoulder for me. Let me be happy. It'll make me happy. Just tell me how it feels. That's right. That's right. You guys are stretching. Where does it hurt? I'm oh, sorry. Hurt. It's it's hard. Hard. It's yeah. No, it's amazing, man. All of us, if you're a Christian, have the ability to let Jesus flow through you and touch the world around you on a constant basis. Destroy the works of the devil everywhere you go. In everything you say and everything you do, glorify Jesus. God gave you one more day to manifest Him and not you. He gave you the privilege of representing Him to a lost and dying world. Just a normal Christian, one that loves Jesus with all my heart. Because God is going to use you. He's going to flow through you. He's going to use you as His hands, as His feet, as His mouthpiece. Got to share the gospel. They're either headed to heaven or headed to hell. You can think what you want, but man, this guy almost went to hell. So my heart cry is, man, if you say yes to Jesus, believe it and walk it out and don't be a hypocrite. They let me have the microphone and got to pray for the miraculous and a whole bunch of healings happened corporately. In Jesus' name, sickness, get out. Disease, get out! In a gym where they would separate church and state, a whole bunch of people got saved that day. Can y'all just give a shout to Jesus right now? Jesus! And then just kept praying for people in there. Praying for different basketball players, praying for different people on the front, you know, sitting in the stands. And, the gospel is good news, and we get to love people, and we get to bring the good news, not coming over the top at people and clobbering them, um, but coming up underneath of them. But I remember there was these police that came in, and, and I used to run from cops. Never, ever would you see me ever standing with police. So I wanted to ask you about your about your knee. Do you have any issues that you show with knee from, from a reoccurring? It's a sports injury. It's kind of lingering. My shoulder. Not okay. My knee. All right. No knee issue. No knee. Okay. I gotta ask the guy beside you then. Could I pray for your shoulder? To be okay. Yep. Can you pray this one. Yep. All right. So Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for a brand new shoulder, God. That you would touch it and make it whole. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I had a word of knowledge about the one cop, and he was like, well, I don't, uh, I don't believe in this. So I'm going to pray for him anyway, so he knows that when he gets healed, it was Jesus that talked through some guy at the meeting. Yeah, just what an opportunity to be able to represent Jesus in a lost and dying world. And sometimes we're just so caught up in life and caught up in stuff that we don't see the simple gospel. But we can share it and bring people to Jesus because of our life lived. Today, there are people out there wanting to hear the gospel. Don't pass them by. Use this life that God gave you. You treat every day as if it would be your last day here on this planet. You treat every day as though it might be the person in front of you's last time.
to see what Jesus might look like. All authority in heaven and earth has been given unto me. Now watch. Now go in my name. What's he doing? He's making us one with him. I'm asking you to let them know their created value. God, let them see people like you see them. Let them hear people like you hear them. One day you're going to stand before God and you're going to answer for your life. you got to get hardcore with this thing and get diligent and be a good soldier and endure hardship. God wants to flow through these hands. Christ is the anointed one and his anointing. So we're the embodiment of his anointing. We're the expression of him. This temple right now, he is going to quicken it so that I can be an instrument of the Lord. I can be a weapon of right standing with God. And heaven wants to come in you and change you from the inside out so you start living like Jesus. It's the Jesus that you preach. It's the Jesus that you know. If we miss becoming love, we miss why he was crucified and raised from the dead. So God, I thank you in Jesus' name that we will be bold and share our faith and realize that if somebody gets shut down, and you're there, that doesn't mean you're going to get shut down. It's a perfect opportunity for us to just a tag team, so to speak, and just go and bring Jesus. Because I want people to come to God. And if I can't reach them, somebody else can. We're the body of Christ. We need to work together. Bless you guys. Hey guys, so we hope you enjoyed that video. Um, we were getting wrecked back here watching it. Well, we weren't even watching it, we were just listening to it. It was really amazing. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, yeah, so it's August 2nd through the 5th at Harvest Christian Center on the west side. I know for all us Eastsiders, that's kind of a difficult drive, but all you gotta do is get there in the morning and hang out on that side all day and then mm -hmm. come back at night. So it's totally worth it. You can get the time off. I encourage you to do it. Um, and we got a whole bunch of awesome churches and ministries that are co-sponsoring this school. Um, Grace Christian Center, Prince of Peace, Rivers Edge Church, Word of Life, House of Purpose, Dios es Bueno, Seed for His Harvest, Life Challenge, Paseo Church, Justice House of Prayer, Rose of Sharon. Dude, do you want to read that for me? Iglesia Santuario Pentecostés. Thank you, I didn't want to butcher it. Upper Valley Vineyard, <laughs> Church of St. Clement, Jesus Chapel, Crosspoint Church, ER Outreach Ministry, His Dwelling Place, El Paso First Assembly, Ignite Movement Church, YWAM, The Gap Collective, Harvest Christian Center, Faith Bible Fellowship, KSCE, and In Christ International Bible College. So it's definitely the body of Christ coming together for this three and a half day conference, The School of Power and Love. I encourage you to register today at powerandlove.org slash EP2017. And Jeremiah, did you want to give any thoughts on the school before we wrap up? Sure. Um, man, just listening to that video, it really, it really was touching my heart all over again. Um, this school has really, really just changed my, my outlook on life, my perspective 100%. Um, not to say that there's no struggles in life after the conference, I'm not saying that, but man, it really does... Uh, 
give you a new outlook on Christianity and walking with Jesus and what Christianity means. And for me, after I, well, I should even say before I even went to one of these schools, I would watch them online and it was already changing my perspective, my thought processes, uh, what I thought of Christianity. I knew that there was more to Christianity, especially when I would read the Bible and I would see the things that they were doing and, and, and just the, the works of Jesus Christ themselves. Uh, and so going to the actual conference, it was just something that really made an imprint on me. Uh, it, it really just um, changed me completely. And, you know, let's just be honest. It's uh, Todd White's awesome. All these speakers are awesome. But Jesus is amazing. And that's who you'll get when you go to this conference is Jesus himself. So it's really just changed me, Sean. Amen. Well, we got just a couple minutes left, but I did want to tell a brief story of when Jeremiah and I attended a school, Power and Love, in New Jersey. Um, we were actually about to leave on our way home from the conference, and we got up really early, and there was a lady asleep on a chair in the lobby. And uh, I don't know who it was, if it was you, Jeremiah, or somebody else, but we just felt like we should talk to her. And so it was Jeremiah, myself, and my friend Daryl, and James, and uh, we ended up talking to her, and her ankles had swelled up really bad. Her feet were all messed up. We prayed just some simple prayers. You know, we didn't, they don't teach you so many things that you're weighed down by all these tools. They just give you the simple faith and belief in Jesus. So we just prayed in Jesus' name, ankles be healed, swelling go, feet be healed. And we watched, you know, over a period of maybe five minutes, her feet and her ankles go completely normal. And she was just rejoicing, excited because it was like her last shot of getting healed before she went home because everybody was flying out that day. But she came in faith expecting healing, and she received it, um, not through the ministry of somebody on a platform, but just ordinary believers like us and like you guys. I encourage you, um, it's not just for us, it's for everybody that believes. So I just want to pray, and uh, if anybody out there needs healing, we're believing with you. Yeah, we're just going to pray for healing, and uh, feel free to call in with your prayer request at 532-8518. So, Father, in Jesus' name, just thank you that you're a good Father, that you care for us, that you love for us. And we just thank you for your power right now, touching people that are watching this all over, online, um, on the television. We just thank you for healing in Jesus' name. We just bless the viewers in the name of Jesus. Amen. You guys have a great one. God bless you. Thank you for watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSCE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours, or you can visit us on our website at www.kse.com. God bless you.